Arizona lawmakers approve $8 million to bus migrants. This is a program that is absolutely necessary. Uh, we heard from, and I say we, the station, on Arizona's Morning News the other day, Sheriff Daniels from Cochise County was on again and talked about the number of people that were dropped off by the federal government in Cochise County. These release programs where they are overwhelmed in federal facilities, so they are doing strategic releases, and towns have no choice. And so the federal government is, is unloading people in Cochise County, and if it weren't for programs like this that continue to bus migrants to other places, the cities, the towns in Cochise County would be absolutely overwhelmed. There's no doubt about that. And so this this thing continues. And I want to go back to something here. The president of the United States a few days ago said that he's done everything he can at the border. I've done everything I can. I need someone to give me power. I need someone to do this. I need someone to do that. I want to go back during a presidential debate going back Oh, my gosh, how far back this goes. Um, And he made a comment, and you'll hear the debate questions here. You're going to hear how he answers this about his time as vice president to Barack Obama. And if he regrets, the, the narrative here is that Barack Obama bragged about how many people he deported. Now, I believe... That uh, I, I think I, I think this might be a universe Univision um, debate, but uh, he's answering this question about whether or not they did the wrong thing. What Latinos should look at is comparing this president to the president we have is outrageous. Number one, we didn't lock people up in cages, we didn't separate families, we didn't do all of those things. Number one. By the way, I'm going to pause that for a moment because that's absolutely unequivocally not true. Um, I was in McAllen, Texas in 2009, I believe it was 2009, when the waves of unaccompanied minors by the tens of thousands were pouring across the Rio Grande into McAllen, Texas. They absolutely were putting kids in cages. Those pictures that were aired around during the Trump administration, and I'm not, again, this is not a defense of Donald Trump. This is clarification on what the, at the time the vice president was saying. That administration absolutely did have kids in cages. There were Arizona Republic pictures that were shown nationally blaming Trump. There were kids in those, you know, those blankets that look like tinfoil, the tinfoil blankets in cages. And, and they say cages, but they were made, these enclosures were made out of, out of a chain link fence. It turns out that those pictures were from the Obama administration. Now, that doesn't mean that the Trump administration wasn't doing it, too. But the answer, the beginning of that answer where uh, Vice President Biden said, we didn't do those things, absolutely did. Absolutely did. Number two, number two, by the time this is the president who came along with the DACA program. No one had ever done that before. This is the president who sent legislation to the desk saying he wants to find a pathway for the 11 million undocumented in the United States of America. This is the president who's done a great deal. So I'm proud to have served with him. So that was his defense of the administration, because as I said at the beginning of the question, it was all of the deportations. Do you do regret it? Was it the wrong thing to do? What would you do different? So here's the second part of his response. What I would do as president is several more things because things have changed. I would, in fact, make sure that there is we immediately surge to the border. All those people. What did he just say? Immediately surge the border are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. I would change the order that the president just changed, saying women who were being beaten and abused could no longer claim that as a reason for asylum. And by the way, retrospectively, you know, the 25th anniversary of the Violence Against Women Act is up. The Republican Congress has not reauthorized it. Let's put pressure on them to pass the Violence Against Women Act now. So, they go back and say, you didn't answer the question. Yeah, yeah but you, you didn't answer the question. Well, the question I, I did did you the make question. A, no, did you make a mistake with those deportations? The president did the best thing that was able to be done at the How about time. you? I'm the vice president of the United States. Uh, Secretary Castro. So when the president says to you he's done everything he can to fix the border, he said in these debates how he would change the policies at the border to allow people entry into the United States to be heard for their asylum claims. I will tell you, again, if if people jump into this show, 
you can get the wrong impression if you just jump in out of context. I am someone who believes we should have a much more robust immigration system, and we do need immigration reform in this country, without a doubt. We should be the shining city on the hill for the world. But the system as it is right now is being abused. The asylum system, the vast majority of asylum claims are being denied. Once their cases have been heard, they're being denied. They're being told by the cartels that are charging them tens of thousands of dollars to come here. These are the words you use, and this is what you say. You're going to get a hearing date years down the road. By that time, you're going to be allowed to stay. You won't even have to show up for a hearing, probably. These are the things they're being told, and they're coming here. And our rules in place right now, the policies, not just the laws, the policies in place of this administration— are we give them a court date years down the road we give them the ability to stay in this country we dump them in the streets of america and we tell the communities in america to fend for themselves and do what they can for these people that's what the federal government is doing the borders are their problem and they're spilling their problem on every city in america it, this is not an immigration system this is a border security issue where we should be shutting down the border allowing our federal agents to catch up with asylum claims, expel the people quickly that do not have legitimate asylum claims. And once we have a secure border and the American people know we have a secure border, we should revamp our immigration system so that it's fair and easier for good people to come here. But what the president is telling you right now is just not true. I'm airing parts of debates that are not that old. Not that old. Thanks for watching The Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.